What's up guys, my name's Anthony and you're watching Crypto Ride, the YouTube channel that helps you navigate the ups and the downs and the craziness in the cryptocurrency space through videos on cryptocurrency news, technical analysis, and crypto project reviews. And today I'm going to try and give everybody a little bit of perspective on Chainlink. We're going to try and figure out where we are and I'm going to talk about this falling wedge chart pattern that I've discovered. I'm going to look at Chainlink and then we're going to also compare that to the Alcarn market cap as a whole. So stick around until the end of the video. Be sure to give this video a like and join our community by subscribing in the bottom right corner of your screen. Now it's worth noting that I've actually switched over from CoinMarketCap to CoinGecko over the last couple days and I've been really liking this website. In fact, I'm thinking about making a separate dedicated video kind of explaining why I like it better. Uh, let me know in the comments section if you'd like to see a video about that. But as I mentioned, the purpose of this video is to give everybody some perspective. So if we talk about the all-time highs, you can see Bitcoin right now at $10,346 is 47% down from the all-time high. And Chainlink at this point is 59% down from its all-time high. Sounds really bad, and it is, in the context of historical investments, if you were comparing this to the U.S. stock market, but keep it in mind, cryptocurrency is young, the space is going to be volatile. Also, let's compare this to some of the other players in the top 20. IOTA, Cosmos, down 95, 81, 85% for Ethereum Classic. A lot of these coins you can see are down a lot further than Chainlink, XRP, 92%. 0.4% down from its all-time high. I also want to give you some context on just how well this asset has been performing. In the last year, Chainlink is up 643%, and now that's trading at $1.80, which I know if you bought high, if you bought in that 3 or $4 range, that it seems like we're really getting beat up right now, but in context, we're up 643% on the year, if you've watched any of our other Chainlink videos, you might have realized that we're using the Coinbase chart, but one of you guys commented in the comment section reminded me that it doesn't provide as much historical data as we would really like. So from now on, we're going to be using the Chainlink to Tether pairing on the Binance chart when we look at support and resistance lines and overall trends. But as you can see, I've got these two lines coming down and they're these two converging lines and they're descending. And I was doing some research on this and I realized that this is called a falling wedge chart pattern. But even though this chart looks really bad at a glance, this is actually a reversal pattern. So what's that mean? It means once this move plays out, it is likely that the price will rise, believe it or not. So there may be light at the end of the tunnel, and I'd like to talk about this falling wedge a little bit more with you and just kind of educate you if you're unfamiliar with the pattern. If you already know what a falling wedge is, you might want to skip forward a minute or two to the next section of the video. And this is just from stockcharts.com. The falling wedge is a bullish pattern that begins wide at the top and contracts as price moves lower. This price action forms a cone that slopes down as the reaction highs and reaction lows converge. Falling wedges are regarded as bullish Pattern. So here's an example of a falling wedge of the, the Rowan companies, but just an example of what that looks like. And if you go and you compare that to what we're seeing here, awfully similar. The article goes on here with these five things that talk about what really constitutes and validates a falling wedge pattern. And rather than reading through it, I'm just going to show you. Now, one thing that we need to validate this pattern is three to six months on the time frame. And if you look back here, you can see we started at the very end of June. So we're coming up on almost three months. So we're almost there, right? We're not just looking at a weekly chart. We're looking at some amount of time passing. Also, it talked about how you want multiple points on the bottom showing us clear signs of support. And we have one at the beginning, two, three, and we have this fourth one playing out here. And you also want three lines up top. So you had your top of the channel, your bottom, right? And then we rose to the top again here. And then lo and behold, we're kind of like right along the top right now, or I guess where we were uh, yesterday when we hit that $1.87 or $1.85 price point. But this all checks out. This is a falling wedge reversal pattern, which gives me and should hopefully give you a little bit of hope if you have money in Chainlink and you're hodling. I know hodling cryptocurrency is not always an easy thing to do, especially when we get in these falling patterns and they can really mess with you psychologically and mess with your emotions. 
So what will it take for Chainlink to break out of this pattern? Bullish confirmation of the pattern does not come until the resistance line is broken in a convincing fashion, meaning there's a lot of volume coming into support, and we're actually talking about the second line. It is sometimes prudent to wait for a break above the previous reaction high for further confirmation. So what does that mean? Basically, the second high would be here. So what we're really looking for is a breakout beyond roughly $2.46. That's what we would call confirmation that we are out of this pattern and that we indeed are going to continue moving upwards. So the title of this video, I talked about if Chainlink has bottomed yet and promised that I would try and give you an answer for that. And my answer to that question would be, I think we're close to finding a bottom. If the pattern continues to follow these trend lines and converge, you can see there's not much room to go down before these lines literally hit each other. So if I go to the very bottom here, we're looking at $1.65, which if you watched my last chain link video, I was calling $1.64 as a potential support that I was looking to buy. For the record, I have not bought any chain link since the last video. Do I want to own more? Absolutely but I'm hoping to see that level and I'm comfortable enough with my position size that if I don't see it and we end up going up back to 250 and beyond, then oh well, I missed it and that's okay with me. You have to figure out where you are personally and I know some people might feel differently. I know some people just buy dollar cost average. You know, if you're bullish on this long term, obviously if we're being real, these are all great prices in the grand scheme of things if this project does what it has the potential to do, to do in going up to the 10, 15 or $20 price range or even beyond. I hear some people talk about $100 and you know, for me I'm more of a realist. I never like to get too ahead of myself, but keep an eye on this line here moving forward. And the other thing I want to show you is that Chainlink is mirroring the rest of the altcoin market. So right now we're looking at the total crypto market capitalization, excluding Bitcoin. So this is your altcoin market. And as you can see, we've got a descending wedge that we're pushing out of, but I'll go back and forth between these. There's Chainlink. There's the entire altcoin market. So you can see Chainlink really is mirroring a lot of the other altcoins. Whereas a couple months ago, especially when this breakout happened and it's really this parabolic move, it wasn't doing that. But now of course it's mirroring a lot of the alts but for those of you guys wondering when alt season might be, again, we're looking at this second line. So if we see this price break out to roughly, let's say $93 billion or $95 billion in the altcoin market, then that could be a sign that we're, this is a true breakout and that alt season is happening. I don't think that'll be today or tomorrow. I think we've got to see back to come out. We have to see a lot of money come into Bitcoin from the institutional investors, which will hopefully awaken another wave of retail investors like the one we saw at the end of 2017. And when the retail investors get in, those are the people that are going to go down the rabbit hole. In my opinion, this is just my opinion. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a cryptocurrency enthusiast and someone who shares my thoughts with you guys. I think those retail investors like you and I, if you're watching this video, you're probably a retail investor. Um, we're going to be the people who go down the rabbit hole and just say, what is cryptocurrency? Have that awakening that you probably had when you first discovered Bitcoin or cryptocurrency as a whole and realize it could potentially be a whole revolution, like literally a financial revolution. And again, this video, I mentioned perspective. Um, yeah, we are potentially at the beginning of a financial revolution and no one has a crystal ball. No one knows what the global economy is going to do, but things are getting a little bit sketchy in Argentina. They now have currency controls and hyperinflation in Venezuela, and we have inverted yield curves in Germany. So there's a lot of crazy things happening right now, but cryptocurrency could be a very vital part of the world's future. In the comment section below, I want you to comment, letting us know if you think that Chainlink has bottomed, and if not, what price are you looking to buy it at? As always, I also want to thank our new and returning subscribers. It's always great to see some familiar faces in the comment section of my videos. And I love how some of us are developing a relationship and I'm starting to recognize you. You're starting to recognize me and I love having those conversations and learning from you guys. So thank you for doing what you do. Smash the like, subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed this or found value in it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and enjoy the ride.